good zumper. <sighs> nice little eye here. And you can see, this one here, I got on an airplane jig. What I'm trying to do is just refine my jigging technique of that airplane jig. When we've got this many fish in an area, it's so much fun, whether they're big ones or little ones, it really doesn't matter at this point. What I'm trying to do is just refine how I use this particular lure. Let me get this guy hooked up, unhooked here real quick. Maybe I could try a forceps, that might work a little better. All right, there he goes. Let's get him down the hole. Let him go. All right, I'm gonna show you exactly how I had that thing rigged up. What I'm doing here is just taking a salted minnow and hooking it through the head on this center hook, pinching off the minnow, ripping it off. There you go. And you can see you just got a little piece of meat hanging on the center. The purpose of that meat there is just in case after that lure settles in, we got a fish that only wants to come up and sniff it, really wants to be double sure it wants to eat, just adds a little bit of scent and smell to them to trigger them. And all we're doing is dropping it down. There we go. We're bringing it up, bringing it up about oh, 18, 20 inches off the bottom now and just lifting it and letting it slide right back in. What happens to that airplane jig is you lift it up, it, as it starts to descend, it's got wings in the back, so it'll sing way out and wide and then come back in and settle in. So it isn't, not taking large aggressive strokes, it's kind of a big stroke and let it settle back into place. We all know the effectiveness that spoons have for catching all sorts of species of fish in the wintertime. The one spoon that's really kind of unique here for walleyes, and I, I want to get better at using it, is this right here. This is a uh, Custom Jigs and Spins Slender Spoon. If you'll notice, it's a real thin spoon. There, it doesn't have all the big, heavy, bulky weight that most of the jigging spoons for walleyes have right now. Most of them tend to be fairly cumbersome. This is a much lighter spoon. It's actually what we refer to as a fluttering spoon. So it's going to have a much slower drop and offer a little bit more flash than a lot of other spoons on the market. Get it down to the bottom. Now this spoon I'm going to lift and just kind of flutter right back down. Just kind of let it settle back into place and you can feel the weight difference compared to other spoons. It doesn't kind of thunk when it hits the bottom of your jigging stroke like most other spoons would do or any spoon that has weight. So this just kind of lifts up. Important thing is you give it a little flick when you get to the top so it, that spoon will hit its side and just kind of flutter itself back down into position. There we go. Not a, not a monster. There he is. There. <laughs> yeah. Not a big one, but all we're trying to do right now, for me right at this particular moment, I mean, it's all fun to catch fish and especially big ones, but for me, what my real goal here today is just to try to use as many lures in my box as I can so I'm prepared the next time I want to use that lure. I know what jigging strokes to use with that particular lure. What do you have to do with that lure to get a fish to bite? And right now I know the Slender Spoon is definitely in my arsenal. This one works, on to the next. Taking that dead stick, got to get it out. There he is. <laughs> what a blast. I'll tell you what, this, is, this isn't bad work. Testing out and seeing what kind of tackles, catching fish and what's not. This is just so much fun. Just going through all your tackle, these fun, aggressive, fish in the springtime. This one fell victim to a little Northland eyedropper spoon. That great holographic finish that Northland came out with here a couple years ago has just proved so effective for walleyes and all sorts of species of fish through the ice. Now open water too for that matter, but wow. All right, down he goes. There are too many fish to sit still today. This is too good. I'm having a minnow here. And all we're doing is just tipping that minnow right there we go right on that jigging check this guy out what a great profile probably matches almost the exact forage that these fish are eating in this lake normally and that's the idea here plus just a little bit larger profile may attract some of the larger fish too there he is oh 
yes! That's what we're looking for right there. Nice little guy. There we go. Nice fish. Fun fish. 